The remarkable story of a British couple who was kidnapped at sea by pirates. You may remember the story. They were held for nearly 13 months. CBS News correspondent Mark Phillips first has a look at how they survived that ordeal and lived to tell about it. For Rachel and Paul Chandler, the adventure of a long-distance yacht cruise became an ordeal at the hands of Somali pirates. More than a year of captivity and long periods of separation when each was unsure about the fate of the other. If I was with my husband, I would feel a lot better. It's because I'm not with my husband that I'm feeling so lonely and desperate and finding it difficult to sleep and carry on through the day. The Chandlers had been in the Seychelles and were heading for Tanzania. But in October 2009, their yacht was attacked and boarded by pirates. They were forced to sail toward the Somali coast to abandon their boat and were taken ashore where their long captivity began. For sailors captured from larger ships, captivity can go on for months until a ransom is paid. The Chandlers had no commercial sponsors and could only make <laughs> desperate I appeals. <laughs> In the end, it's thought family and friends and Somali expatriates scraped together the money to get the Chandlers freed and they were flown out to Kenya. They, unlike some others, are at least alive and with a story to tell. Mark Phillips, CBS News, London. And in terms of that story, Paul and Rachel Chandler have written a book about their ordeal. It's called Hostage, A Year at Gunpoint with Somali Gangsters. They each wrote parts of the book separately, writing them like a diary, telling their own stories. I recently spoke with them and asked what it was like as they learned these different details which were revealed to one another, including Rachel's thoughts of suicide. It was, uh, it was very sad and, and quite painful, but I, I really only realized when we were writing the book because after we were reunited, we talked and talked and talked, but mostly about the practicalities of what had been going on with each of us. It was when we came to write the book and read each other's passages that it really brought it home to me what a horrible time she had had. When, when we hear that, Rachel, and knowing that you were there for, I believe it's 388 days, and then to learn that you really haven't sought out counseling, you haven't had any nightmares, um, it sounds like you must be an incredibly strong woman to go through all of that. I think of myself as an ordinary person, but on the other hand, I suppose because we're cruising sailors, we have built up quite a, a resilience. And it took me, it was a long journey for me. At first, I was a very amateur hostage. I was struggling all the time. But as time went on, I, I knew that I had to survive for Paul, for my family and friends. And somehow I just kept going by thinking about them especially. Was there ever a moment, Rachel, when you thought, this is how things may end for me. I could spend the rest of my life here held hostage in Somalia. I certainly felt that, especially after our second separation. And I really couldn't see any resolution because our captors were kept demanding millions of dollars. And I knew that we couldn't find that kind of money. But I suppose always I pull myself out of it thinking that there has to be a solution. I have to keep hope. I have mm -hmm. to keep going. They morphed from being pirates to being kidnappers. Mm -hmm. When they realized we were British, they thought there was a value in our citizenship. And then they had to go up that learning curve. And unfortunately, you were, you were their guinea pigs in that experiment. Uh, you're actually now restoring your yacht, as I understand it, Rachel, and preparing to set sail again. That, to most folks, uh, would be unthinkable. I think to people who are not sailors and not cruisers, it's probably unthinkable. But all our friends have really encouraged us to get back to our lives. And for us, getting back to normal is going back cruising again. We love sailing. We love traveling. We love meeting people. And that, for us, is the life we want to lead. But you may avoid that Somali coast, I have a feeling. <laughs> yeah, we will. Absolutely. <laughs> Paul and Rachel Chandler, really appreciate your time this morning. Thank you. Thank You're you. You're welcome.